Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I am taking a break from the bathroom renovation. If you guys haven't been following along with that, make sure that you go check it out. And it's, it's coming along really well. I'm excited to show you guys. I will show you a little sneak peek here just so you can see what's coming. But in today's video, I want to start decorating for the holidays. I am really excited about it this year, thanks to today's sponsor, Timu. If you guys are not familiar with Timu, it's an online marketplace with really affordable prices and good quality. They have a little bit of everything. So they have multiple categories and lots of coupons up to 90% off savings. So one of my favorite things about Timu other than the prices is they always offer free shipping and free returns within 90 days. The first thing that I grabbed was this set of bows right here. It comes in a set of five. These are 13 inches and I think I'm going to use these on my wreaths outside and there were five of them for less than six dollars. The next thing that I grabbed was this large doormat for the front door. I have a doormat that I want to use on top of this one so it's kind of a layering one and it feels really good quality. Feels like it'll be nice and waterproof for outside. All right the next product that I got I got two of and that uh, is these LED lights. These are 196 Feet. And each of these was a little over $18 for LED lights, 196 feet long. Can't really beat that deal. The next product I got a bunch of in a lot of different variations. And that is these inflatable ornaments. I want to hang these from the tree in my front yard. I got all kind of different variations, green and red, blue and black and white, this colorful one, and gold and silver. And they're super lightweight, so maybe I can just hang them with some fishing line that you won't be able to see, and they'll look really colorful and festive in the trees. The next thing I grabbed are these little fairy lights. I got four of these, and these can go in wreaths or in garlands, just a little something to add to your decor and very inexpensive. These were $2 a piece. I have some wreaths that I put on my windows, but they're kind of like basic. So I wanted to add a bunch of these to the wreaths to make the greenery kind of have a little bit of variety. And I got 40 of these and this was less than $7. I also got some of this kind of ribbon type material. I've been seeing this in a lot of decor that people have been using to style for Christmas. And it's 16 yards of this for a little over $5. You can put this on a wreath, on your garland, on your tree, on presents. The next thing that I got really made me laugh. And that is this shirt. I love the Christmas tree cakes. <laughs> this was less than four dollars and I can just put our names on the little Santa hat. The last thing that I grabbed that seems to be really popular for this season and that is deer. These little gold deer were less than ten dollars and I think they would look really cute sitting on a mantle or on your shelves styled for Christmas. Make sure you guys go check out Timu by clicking the link in the description to download the app and you will get $100 in coupons for free. All right, let's talk about the plan for out here. It's really windy, so I hope you can hear me. I normally am caught between white lights or colorful lights, but for this year, I definitely want to go colorful. I have some very loyal subscribers who are my nieces and nephews who come to visit every year. Charlie, Houston, Trey, and Callie. So I think if they could vote, they would vote for colorful lights. So I wanna do something more fun for them and my kids and just have a lot of color going on out here. So I want to put some wreaths up. We already have the lights that we put up at the top. We'll be adding some more lights 
just decorating the front area. So lots to do to pop against this white of his house. The very first thing that I needed to do was get rid of all of this fall stuff. So no more pumpkins, no more fall colors, bring that inside and then I could get started on the Christmas decorations. So this is the difference between the two wreaths. I added the extra greenery and fluffed the one on the right. So that is the main thing that I do for Christmas decorating. I feel like garlands, wreaths, trees, just tons and tons of fluffing. That's what's gonna make your project or whatever you're working on look the most realistic and the most full. So I'm just using these little stems that I showed you earlier. This is a trick that I get to make them look more full, a little bit more natural. I bend them accordion style, so it has a little bit more dimension, and then I'm just sticking them into the wreath. I am not hot gluing or wiring them in yet just because I want to see the placement first and once I get them exactly where I want them then I will attach them permanently. So here I am back up on the ladder and I am using an outdoor screw just to drill into the wood here to hold the wreath. I actually still have holes there from last year. They're so high up that you couldn't see them. That way I already know the placement for the wreaths. I don't have to measure again and waste time doing that. I had this doormat from Studio McGee that I had gotten last year, but it was looking kind of old and faded just from people walking on it all winter. So I wanted to give it a little bit of a refresh and I am just taking some acrylic paint and just updating the little Christmas trees that were already there. They were faded so I could just follow the pattern that was already there. And then after that dries, I just took it outside and I'm giving it a coat of clear matte spray paint and it's just going to bring the entire doormat back to life. Okay, we're taking a break because of soccer practice, but when I get back, we're going to start on lights because I think it's easier to do lights when it's dark or getting dark just so you can see how they're going to look. And I know I said I wanted to do colorful and all I've done so far is neutral. So the lights are definitely going to add some color that I'm looking for. Okay, it's pretty loud out here. I got some lights up last night. I still have more to do, but what I wanna work on now is this entryway. Get all of that set how I want it, and then we'll add some more things to the trees, some more lights, and we'll be done.
So I've got these two trees that I want to use on the front porch, but I did not love this kind of cream color with the white of the house. It looked weird and it's pretty beat up. So I'm giving it a coat of paint. I'm just taking some samples that I have, some craft paint and layering different browns to get a little bit of an aged effect, not too much, just really, really subtle. I think that'll look better on the front porch. It'll look nicer with the white of the house. With the front porch done, it was time to move on to the part I was probably the most excited about, and that was hanging these ornaments from the trees in the front yard. So I just used my compressor to blow these up because do not try to do this with just your mouth because trust me, you might pass out. So I brought the ladder out again, and I am using fishing line to attach the ornaments to the branches, just wrapping it around the branches a few times and then tying it into a tight knot. And they have not gone anywhere. And I love the way that these look swinging in the trees. I also wanted to show you guys what the house looks like at night with the permanent lights and the colorful lights that we did out front. I think this works for now and I think my kids and my nieces and my nephews are going to like it. So this is how it ended up. The outdoor decorating is done. This was a fun one. It was a nice little break from demo and construction of the bathroom, but I will be back to that very soon. Make sure that you guys are subscribed so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and I will see you guys then. Bye!